Hello, Tracy here. Welcome back. So we're going to just um, carry on with this journal cover. Uh, I sewed around the edges. I've put this little applique um, there to hide that stitching that I didn't like. Um, I have sewn in the signature. I will show you. I'll do a flip through shortly. Um, but I just glued that down so I need to leave it lying flat. Um, so what I want to actually do is layer up and make a topper. I have chosen this image to go on there but I just need to layer it a bit more and because it's on 120 it's not firm enough for my liking. So I'm just going to... Um, I'm just... I'm going to put this on some cardstock just to give it a bit of strength. So how have you all been since last video? Um, I got a message from Bailey, a video from my youngest daughter who went out fishing. She absolutely loved it. Caught the biggest fish of the day by the sounds of it so she is stoked burnt but stoked so that's really cool and she said to me um she might have some fish fresh fish for me so yeah we shall see um she will be coming around tomorrow so that's really cool another hot day Um, I will try and get a few videos done today just to, so I've got a few um, over the week because I've got an extremely busy um, extremely busy week at work coming up. I'll just move that out of the way. Right, I want to put that in the middle so it's framed by the gold. I'm on a countdown. I've taken a couple days off. We've got, in about two, three weeks, we've got um, a statutory holiday, um, which happens, unfortunately, to fall on a Tuesday. But because I'm taking the Thursday off before um, for an appointment, I have decided I'm just going to put that on there like that. I have decided that I'm going to take the Friday and the Monday off also. So, um, yeah, exciting. So I get sort of like a mini holiday. Not doing much. I'm just going to hang around home. Um, apart from the appointment, which is out of town, about three hours drive. So I'll get to that do what I have to do um, and then come home and then I'll have a few nice quiet days at home and then I'll be on the countdown for my big holiday um, trip over to South Island which will probably be another three weeks after that right I might just swap glues so with this video I will be putting um, everything down that I want on my um, front of my journal cover and then I'm putting it aside I don't even think I'll show you the signature because I want it to dry so I'll be putting something underneath it to make it lie flat um, I'm just looking for my spatula which I can't find so that's fine let's just spread it out with my finger yeah, I need it to lie flat, um, so I won't show you the signature this round. But let's just stick that down. Let's hold it. I want to move it over slightly. 
so that will have a weight on it that will hold it down it doesn't look like it's gonna stick at this stage but trust me it will um, I have found this I, it's all about using my stash this this round I don't have any glue under there um, I still haven't um, given given in and bought anything so super stoked with myself using my stash so we might actually just put that across there give it a bit of bling it will also help to hold that down and then even more bling what does that look like oh yes this is going to be a very blingy cover I think So let's just overlay that with glue. Right, so now I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to put some heavy books on it to hold it down. And as quick as that, that will be my cover for the Daffodil Journal. So I'll put it to the side right now, excuse me, and then I'm coming back to show you a quick flip through. Next video we'll be making some ephemera for that journal, but I wanted to do a quick flip through. There's some journals in my Etsy that I haven't done a flip through for, and I was um, thinking I should really do flip throughs with them um, there's a sale on at the moment so yeah so this is my owl journal that um, I did a little while ago it's three signatures um, this is a little envelope with I believe it's got um, yeah. So it's just got a piece of um, eco dye paper in there. I actually think this is a piece of ephemera that the lovely Pauline from Wellington sent me. I love owls. We have a more pork that I um, I can he still chirps away or more porks away um, yeah so this one's got plenty of um, writing space can't remember whose kit it was sorry um, it's got a little notepad in there and a little journal card just a little um, just something little to write on mm. I actually really like this trim I'm gonna have to get some more of it yeah so there is plenty of writing space this is a piece of eco um, printing that I did more clusters They're very majestic, aren't they? If you can call owls majestic. Um, so scrapbook paper, like I always do with my three signatures. I just think it um, makes the signatures stronger. A stitched um, pocket. It's a tag. Some little tickets and that's around the corner pocket and there's some more goodies in there some tags and some more tickets um, book page that's got some tissue on it um, and then some paper sewing so 
And then we've got a little card, journal card in there. Some more ephemera. Piece of the um, old ledger paper. So I really like this journal, how there is a heap of um, writing spaces. And you all throughout it, there's also, like I've made cards about different types of owls. What is this? Can't see a date on that. That's an old piece of ephemera. 1937. So yeah, I've got a few more to show that are in my Etsy, um, piece of tea dyed um, in my Etsy store. So I think tomorrow might be the last, tomorrow might be the last um, day of the sale. There's another one, Barn Owl. little tag another around the page um, pockets I like making those or eco die bit of writing space what's this short edge owl so not only do you journal but you also learn about owls how cool is that a piece of eco print on a little notebook and that is it so yeah this little journal not that little the measurements will be on my Etsy is in my Etsy store tied with a piece of yellow sari to match his or her eyes but yeah, so I hope you like that quick flip through. Um, I will leave the daffodil journal cover um, under some books to flatten out and dry. I will come back um, probably later on or and film a couple videos, maybe, maybe tomorrow for, to last through the week. But yeah, until next time, have a great day. See you later.